Hello everyone, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to week 7 of Destiny 2, which means Path of the Splicer 7. So, today's, I'm gonna say this, today's stuff has some pretty interesting story details in it, which, um, I don't know how to put it, it's got me thinking that some crazy stuff is gonna go down um, by the end of this season. Or by next season. Or by the end of the year. Who knows? But there's some developing story details. So let's go on ahead and head to the... Um, what's it called? Splicer Servitor. That's it. We're going to head on over there. This is actually probably the earliest I actually got to play it today. Um, so. I actually got off work early. So woo! It was great. I got to play everything on the reef. And we're going to head over here and get started on all this. I know I'm talking a lot because I'm excited. I mean, I can't wait until y'all... Oh, I can't wait until y'all watch... Uh, the, the, listen to the dialogue and all that. Guardian, I greet you in the light. Even as darkness hangs overhead. We were correct that an unseen hand was guiding the Vex. Quirion, the dreaming mind. Oh, wow. All right. So, first quest step, as usual, will be Ether Key. And since I already have Ether Keys equipped, I'm just going to have to pick this up. And we're just going to go and do a, uh, what's it called? Uh, override. And it is on Europa, per usual. So, it's what, the big Wyvern, I believe. The very first um, destination. So, we're going to go ahead, click on to here, go in, and just defeat the boss. All right. Once you defeat the boss, pick up your Conflux chest. Of course, you know, you can see me die right at the beginning of that. So, one, two, die, you stupid wyvern. And now it's dead. And then go ahead and pick up your chest. Yes. <laughs> Saints 14. Alright. You want to go to the Expunge Corrupted Mission on the moon. And go ahead and get that started. I, uh, this, this mission actually is pretty... I don't know what... I don't know why. But I find the Expunge missions are actually pretty easy to do when they're corrupted. I mean, I don't know why. They just seem easier. This so, head on over this way. Beyond material space is but one of many. The universe holds so many dark and fascinating secrets. If only our eyes were open enough to see them. Oh, yeah, sure. And if you see right above where it says um, the expunge mission I'm doing, you can see some little text speaking to me and it's really creepy it was in the last video i didn't even notice it myself until i rewatched the video all the way through uh someone's talking to you oh is it sabathun or is it the uh the taken vex or is it both who knows or it is i don't know i didn't know about this until i watched my video on once i have uploaded it i was like oh yeah 
got some creepiness going on. I think it's mostly the same type of talking. So, like, the same text. So, you know. Just follow, watch what my hunter does. You'll be able to get through this mission. This is just easy. This is an easy one. Um, the one on Europa is easy to do. I guess the only one that takes longest is the very first one. Which I still don't have the time trial done. <laughs> Always wear the uh, exotic armor that helps you with your height, like, you know, higher jumps or what's it called? Movement speed. Anything. Just, you know, you want movement speed, you want um, high jumping, and you just want to be, have survivability. It's just your survival PVE gear with great mobility and parkouring. And don't miss the data, like, little cubes. I missed that one and I had to go back right here. I had to go back twice. I lost some time because of that. Gonna clutch it. Oh, that timer. Bang it. And then off to the left side. That's not, it's pretty easy. You can actually just skip a lot of things, jump on some of these higher level, uh, higher elevated, you know, blocks. Skip a lot of things. Just gotta watch out for the snipers. They're everywhere. I don't even know if I was doing this right. I don't know if the, uh, no, I think you have to kill the hydras. Um, not the hydras. No, the harpies. I think you have to kill those harpies first. And then the uh, main harpy will spawn. Like, just kill it, whatever's normal vex, basically. I, you don't even have to kill the champions. I didn't realize that because uh, until later. And I'll, I'll show you all what I'm talking about. Two more harpies. Oh, wait, that's the right one. Yep, there we go. Kill that one. And there's the harpy you need. I missed a shot. <laughs> Great hit with a shotgun in it. And just <sighs> couldn't even punch it. There we go. Pick that up. Run for it. We got enough uh making my hunter as tough as a Titan when it comes to taking hits. Once it comes to a raid, then I die. Woo, almost got bounced off the edge right there. And my um, security thing disappeared. So this is what's kind of dumb. I thought I almost made it through right here. You gotta kill that blight, I believe. So, honestly, that shouldn't have been blocking the way. So, drop the ball, kill everything. So close to dying. I will die though, because you know, that's just me. Alright. Get back in there. Is he dead? Nope, that's not gone still. Alright. And then it go disappears. So, I'm guessing you had to destroy the blight. Am I gonna die? Don't let me die. <laughs> okay, surviving. Be careful when running through the lasers. Watch out for that. And that. <laughs> so many traps. It's all a trap. And I'm making some okay time. Can I clutch it? This week's, uh, one of the weekly 
challenges for this week is actually beating this mission. It doesn't have to be corrupted. Beating it within under um, nine minutes. Nine minutes or less. And ad clearing supers are very helpful for this. Trust me. And look, that thing's dead already with the blight. Running back, grabbing the... Whatever this is called. I missed again. See, how does a person do that? Alright, gotta run. Speed running. Picking up the cubes. So why didn't I go straight over? I want the time. Well, I want the, the ability not to lose that. Oh, it disappeared. And how did I just get thrown back here? I don't even know how I made it back that. Alright, grabbing that. You hit that. And I don't even use those extra platforms. What's the point sometimes, right? Did I get it? Yep. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. That. Nope, got hit. Nope, died. Was a little off on the timing. Alright, alright, bang it, bang it, bang it. There is some shenanigans that happens. That right there. Deathbringer does do a lot of damage. I wouldn't waste it on the normal ads. Just have something to kill them quickly. And get lucky on that ammo drops. Alright, so his shield is up. See, look. Okay. I went into that that other laser grid spawned right when I was going sliding. That is like very unlucky right there. Alright, watch this. I picked this up. Oh look, there's two platforms right there to help me. Alright, I'm gonna jump on top of this one. Hit the cube, but I fell right through it. It's like what kind of trap is that? The platform is a death trap. And I was close. I am close to beating it under the nine minutes but if it wasn't for that see i'm trying to jump straight across i couldn't survive and i just fall right into the pit below i would have had this i would have had it in the bag of getting it um done on time see look you can stand on the small one but you fall through that one and but i landed on the, uh, the little boss's head and was able to get through it See, if I if I didn't die those two times, I might have beaten it within the nine minute frame. Maybe, just barely. Fact is, I did a pretty good run though. That was pretty good. I just wish I didn't die. And the corrupted chest. Oh yeah. against underestimating Quarrier. Agreed. We must strike carefully, mitigate Quarrier's ability to rally defenses, then punch through the network like a white-hot sword of praxic fire. We can do this. Together. Together. Yay. Alright, so time to head back. To the helm. So once you defeat, or once you've the expunged mission, the corrupted version, it doesn't matter if you beat the timer or not. Just want to beat it. You can head on right back to the helm. 
And who who are we going? We need a. Oh, we just need to go see the others. That's it. <clears throat> I just I I just remember it's just saying helm, return to the helm. Da 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 da. And look who it is. Ooh. Osiris. It is something I must discuss with you. Lakshmi. She came to me with a proposal. To be taken over as Titan Vanguard. She discussed it with me as well. Lakshmi has radical ideas, but they are only words. No cause for alarm. Good. Good. Only words. She wants what is best for the people of the city. And in truth, you would make an excellent leader. I do not see the point. The Valar may have a beautiful death, but he is shameful. We could use less bureaucracy and use a more proactive strategy where we reclaim ground taken from humanity and open council. Led by you, I will stay back and advise. I lack the temperament for leadership. Ah, a fond deal only. I told Lakshmi I would think about it till she would go away. The words just tasted like treason in my mouth. Let her believe you are considering her. If you refuse, I imagine she might approach Lord Saladin. And after what happened with Kyther, I understand. Later we will speak more of this. It appears Lakshmi is speaking a bit too freely. I would report her behavior to Ikora, though I imagine she already knows. You should continue working with Lakshmi. Don't mention what you've heard. We must keep this as quiet as we can. With the Endless Night and the Elixni here, the city has become a powder keg. One errant spot, and it could be the end of the Vanguard. People of the last city, the last time I spoke to you, I was silenced. Clearly, I could have Unfortunately, the current vanguard would stop at nothing to protect their place in their irate tower. They don't understand the people of the last city, and their actions prove it. Future oracles and the new monarchy say, enough. We intend to return the city to its people. If the vanguard I don't know what's going to happen. It's very interesting as what might happen by, ne by the end of the season. Death 
You'll just go ahead and pick up your engram, and that is it. You have completed Path of the Splicer 7. And from what I looked at in the Triumphs, there's only supposed to be 8 of these quests, so one more next week. And I guess we're done with the score story. So I want to thank you all for watching the video today. I've enjoyed it with you all. Of course, today's video has been fun. And there's some interesting development going on with Future World Cult and the new monarchy, which is surprising. What's Dead Orbit doing? Probably sitting back and watching everything fall apart. And they'll be like, alright, what are we going to do afterwards? <laughs> alright, everyone. Uh, thanks again for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you around next week. And also, we have a Discord link down below. So if you want to join and talk and hang out with us in the Discord, you can. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.